This video is going to show us how to solve a system of three equations and three variables using the elimination method. Uh, looking at our system of equations, uh, I see one problem right away. And all, all the equations are in the same form. So the first thing I want to do is get them all in standard form. AX plus BY plus CZ equals D. Our first equation is in standard form, so we'll just rewrite that one. 5R minus 4S minus 3T equals, equals 3. Second equation. All I really need to do is subtract t from both sides, giving us r plus s minus t will equal 0. Third equation, we just need to subtract 3s from both sides, and we will get r minus 3s equals 1. No t's in them. And that's that key right there. We see we're already down to two variables in that equation. So I wanna, what I want to do is look at these two equations and then figure out how I can eliminate the t. Looking at that, looks like I can rewrite the first equation. 5r minus 4s minus 3t equals 3. 4r minus 4s minus 3t equals 3. And then I'm going to write, and this is equation, we'll label these equations 1, 2, and 3. And then what I want to do is I want to get that coefficient of negative 1 equal to 3 but opposite sign. So I need to multiply that by a negative 3. So we're going to take negative 3 times equation 2. Negative 3 times equation 2 will give us negative 3r minus 3s plus 3t is going to equal 0. And now I can add those two equations and see we'll get 2r. Uh, negative 4s minus 3s will give us minus 7s, 3t minus 3t, 0 equals 3. Now, now that I have the, these two equations, we've got 2r minus 7s equals 3. I need to get this equation with coefficients that are the same number but opposite signs. And it looks like all I have to do is multiply equation 3 here by negative 2. So we'll multiply negative 2 times our equation 3. And that will give us negative 2r minus plus 6s is going to equal negative 2. And now I can add those two equations and we'll see what happens here. We will get the 2r's become 0. We get negative s is equal to 1. Therefore s is equal to negative 1. And now I can take that negative 1 and I can plug that back in here for s to find r. So we will take r minus, and that's an r, 3 times a negative 1 is going to equal 1. So r plus 3 equals 1. Subtracting 3 from both sides, we get r is equal to negative 2. Now that I have negative 2 for r, negative 1 for s, We'll look over here for an equation that looks good for, for finding t. And let's plug those in. We have t is equal to s, which is negative 1, plus r, which is negative 2, so it becomes negative 2. So we get t is equal to negative 3. We now know that the solution to our system is r is equal to negative 2, s equals negative 1, and t is equal to negative 3. We write that in R S T form the single point and we will get R negative 2 S negative 1 and T is negative 3. You can now plug these back in. We know it works in this equation. You can also plug it into the other two to ensure your solution is correct.